What will we do with this moment? How will we be remembered? This is our future and our choice to make. I am asking you to choose greatness. Welcome back to Real Trump News. Real news President Trump doesn't want you to miss. Fox News is reporting that without any Republican support, the House on Wednesday night voted to impeach President Trump for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress related to his dealing with Ukraine, making Trump the third American president ever to be impeached. After a while, the president tweeted a picture of himself with the words, in reality, they're not after me, they're after you. I'm just in the way. The separate votes on the two accounts teed up an all but certain Senate acquittal should House Democrats forward the charges to the GOP control chamber. But late Wednesday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi floated the possibility that the House would not send the articles of impeachment to the Senate, where Majority Leader Mitch McConnell likely would oversee a strong defense of the President that could prove politically damaging for vulnerable Democrats. Pelosi told reporters, we'll make a decision as we go along. In 1998, after the impeachment of President Bill Clinton, the House sent the charge off to the Senate within minutes. This time around, the House may want to hold on to articles as leverage to extract concessions from Senate Republicans or to bury impeachment as it proved increasingly popular among moderates in key battleground states. Before the voting, as President Trump prepared to head to Michigan rally, he voiced his frustration with process unfolding on Capitol Hill. Trump wrote, Can you believe that I will be impeached today by the radical left, do nothing Democrats, and I did nothing wrong? He asked his followers to say a prayer. According to The Hill, once again, Democrats' partisan politics have backfired. President Trump's job approval rating have ticked up six percentage points since the Democrats' impeachment inquiry began. According to a new survey, a majority of Americans also oppose impeachment and removing President Trump from office. Next, Jonathan Garber writes in Fox Business, the stock market had been unstoppable under the influence of President Trump. The Dow Jones Industrial Average across 28,000 points on Monday, meaning it has rallied 10,000 points or more than 54% since Trump's election victory on November 8, 2016. The S&P 500 is up more than 46%. The chief economic advisor at Alliance told Fox Business the rally has been driven by pro-growth measure, de-escalation of trade tensions, huge liquidity injections by central banks and the FOMO approach by investors worry about missing out on a remarkable U.S. market outperformance that has set one record high after the other. Lastly, The Daily Caller is reporting that the top judge on the federal court overseeing the U.S. government's surveillance activities accused the FBI on Tuesday of providing false and misleading information about Carter Page an application to wiretape the former Trump campaign advisor. Judge Rosemary Collier, the presiding judge on the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, issued a stern and unprecedented rebuke in a memo, ordering the FBI to come up with a series of proposals by January 10, 2020, on how to ensure the accuracy of information in future applications for surveillance warrants. And that's this week's Real Trump News. We will see you next time.